Thanks very much, Tony. The uh, internet has revolutionised learning. Reams of information is just a search engine away. But how far can learning online go? Where pupils once stared at blackboards, computer screens, of course, are taking over. Virtual classrooms are becoming a reality, and more and more schools are tapping into the technology. In West Sussex, things have gone a step further. Sick or excluded pupils now have internet teachers instructing them at home. Daniel Glavin reports. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to today's lesson on electromagnets. What do you think you have to do now? For five months, Claire Smee's been too ill to attend school, so her lessons are now online at home in Horsham. It really is long distance learning. Her teacher's 80 miles away in Hertfordshire. You have to be quite self motivated, but I, I do want to learn and I want to get to college, so I do try really hard to get to all my lessons and do all my homework. So a lot of the time, they make it so much fun that you want to be there anyway. This is just like being in a classroom. The, the difference is minuscule. The thing about it is we really just get down to the education. In the past academic year, 55 pupils have used the system in West Sussex. 14 sent their GCSEs and passed all of their exams. The cost is about £6,000 per pupil per year. If a pupil doesn't have broadband, for instance, in their home network, we will look at putting in uh, a dial-up machine um, and provide them with a laptop. So it's available for all pupils, not just those that have broadband at home. The Campaign for Real Education says this is an easy option and no substitute for face-to-face -face interaction. Claire says the virtual lessons are giving her a real education. Danielle Glavin, BBC South Today, in Horsham.